Hello there, Mr. Sutton here with the AB Calculus 5-4 Homework Solutions on RAM Part 1. For this problem, we're trying to approximate the area under negative x plus 3 over the interval negative 6 to 2 using LRAM with four subintervals. Let's set up a table first. So since I'm doing four subintervals from negative 6 to 2, I'm going to start with negative 6 and go by 2's. So I've got negative 4, negative 2, 0, and 2. And those are the x values. Let me calculate the y values that go with those now using my negative x plus 3 function. So this is going to be 6 plus 3, so 9. This is going to be 4 plus 3 is 7. And then we've got, let's see, this is 2 plus 3 is 5. This is 0 plus 3. This is negative 2 plus 3. And since I'm using LRAM now uh, to approximate the integral from negative 6 to 2 of this f of x, I've got to start with 2 times 9. That's the left end point of my first rectangle. Then I've got a base of 2 times the height of 7, the left end point of my second rectangle. Base of 2 times 5 plus a base of 2 times 3. Adding all that up, I've got 18 plus 14, so 32, plus 10 is 42, plus 6 is 48. On this problem, I want to approximate this quadratic from negative 2 to 3 using LRAM over 5 subintervals. Since I'm doing 5 subintervals sub from negative 2 to 3, these are just going to be going by 1's. So I'll need a table with uh, 6 values in it so that I can get the full picture here. We're going to start at negative 2, go to negative 1, then 0, 1, 2, and 3. Now I need to get the y values that go with that. So we've got, let's see, this is going to be 4 plus 4 plus 3, uh, so 11. And then next we've got 1 plus 2 plus 3, so that's going to be 6. Plug in 0, we just get 3. Plug in 1, that's going to be 1 minus 2, so negative 1 plus 3 is 2. And you'll notice that these are going, uh, let's see, this is going up by 5. This is, well, it's not going up by the same amount each time. There is a pattern, though. Uh, if we plug in 2, we've got essentially 3. And then if we plug 3 in, we've got, let's see, 9 minus 6 plus 3 is going to be 6. So there are our y values. Since this is LRAM, we're going to start with the left endpoint here, the left y value. Uh, so we have a base of 1 times a height of 11. And this is the integral from negative 2 to 3 of f of x, and we are approximating that. Uh, so we've got the approximately equals. So we've got base of 1 times height of 11 plus base of 1 times a height of 6, base of 1 times a height of 3, 1 times 2 plus 1 times 3. Next, we just add these together if you need to simplify it. So this is going to be, let's see, 17, 20, 22, 25. For this problem, we're trying to approximate x over 2 plus 3 from negative 5 to 5 using RAM with 5 subintervals. Since I'm doing 5 subintervals over this distance of 10 here, I'm going to go by 2's. So setting up my table, I'll start at negative 5, and then I'll have negative 3, negative 1, 1, 3, and 5. Now I'm going to plug all of those in here to get my y values. And I've got a choice between fractions and decimals when I do this. I'm going to go with decimals. So we've got negative 2.5 plus 3, which is 0.5. Then we have negative 1.5 plus 3, which is positive 1.5. Then we have negative 0.5 plus 3, that's 2.5. And we are just going up by 1s each time, um, but we'll just keep going. So we've got 0.5 plus 3 is uh, 3.5. Then we've got 1.5 plus 3 is 4.5. And if you're guessing 5.5, you're right, but just to double check, we've got 2.5 plus 3, 5.5. Since this is RAM, we're going to use the right endpoint of each rectangle. Um, so our first interval here, we have a base of 2 from negative 5 to 3. We're going to do 2 times a height of 1.5. This is the right side of the rectangle. So we've got the integral from negative 5 to 5 being approximated, approximately equals, 2 times 1.5 plus base of 2 times 2.5, base of 2 times 3.5, base of 2 times 4.5, and then 2 times 5.5. Since we're multiplying all of these by 2, we can actually just add the 
numbers inside the parentheses together and then multiply the result by 2. So I've got, let's see, 1.5 and 2.5, that's 4. This will make it 7.5. This becomes 12. And then finally, we've got 17.5. Doubling that, we get 35. For this problem, we're trying to approximate this quadratic over negative 4 to 6 using MRAM with 5 subintervals. That means that uh, we're going to basically split this up into rectangles that each have a base of 2 because there's a total distance of 10 split up over 5 subintervals. Um, and we're going to take the midpoint of each of those intervals. So making my table here, I've got a rectangle from negative 4 to 2, but I'm taking the midpoint x values now. So that's going to be negative 3. And then from the rectangle from negative 2 to 0, I'm going to take what's in between of those. Uh, that gives me negative 1, and then 1, and 3, and 5. That's the midpoint of the rectangle from x equals 4 to x equals 6. Now I'm just going to plug each of these in to get some uh, y values to go with this. And to make my life a little bit easier, I'm going to do decimals instead of fractions. So this is going to be, let's see, 9 over 2 is 4.5. Plus 3 is 7.5. Minus 1 is 6.5. Next, we plug in negative 1. That's going to be 0.5 plus 1 is 1.5. Minus 1 is back to 0.5. Plugging in positive 1, that's going to be 0.5. Minus 1 is negative 0.5. Minus another 1, negative 1.5. Plugging in 3, we've got 4.5. Minus 3 is 1.5. Minus 1 is 0.5 again. And then 5, that's going to be, let's see, 25 over 2, that's 12.5. Minus 5 is 7.5, minus 1 is 6.5. Um, so it's got the symmetry that we would expect from a quadratic. Now we're going to have to go ahead and calculate our rectangle areas. So we've got a base of 2 for each of these rectangles. So for the first one, we've got 2 times 6.5. And we're approximating the integral from negative 4 to 6 of f of x here. So we're doing... 2 times 6.5, note the approximately equals here, because we're approximating. Then we've got 2 times 0.5, 2 times negative 0.5, 2 times 0.5 again, and 2 times 6.5. Since all these are being multiplied by 2, I'm just going to add the decimals together and then multiply the end result by 2. So 6.5 plus 0.5 is 7. Uh, let's see, we've got minus 1.5, that's going to be 5.5, 6, and then adding 6 and 6.5, that's 12.5. Doubling that, I get 25. On this problem, we want to approximate the integral from 0 to 17 of f of x using these selected values and RAM. Since we're using RAM, we're going to use the right endpoint of each rectangle that we can form out of here. So we have a rectangle going from 0 to 7, that's a base of 7, and we're going to use the right y value here. So that's going to be 7 times 4. Uh, so integral from 1 to, or 0 to 17 is approximately equal to 7 times 4 plus we have a base of 3 times the right side value of 3 plus base of 4 times 2 plus base of 2 times a height of 3 plus the base of 1 times a height of 2. Adding all this up, this is 28 plus 9 is 37 plus 8 is going to be 45 plus 6 is 51, plus another 2 is 53. For this problem, we're approximating the integral from 0 to 9 using this table of values for f and RAM. So that means we're going to be using the right y value for uh, each choice when we have these rectangles we're adding together. So we can say integral from 0 to 9 is approximately equal to, we have a base of 1 times the height of negative 1. And again, we're picking negative 1 instead of 0 because we're doing R RAM, so we're picking the right side each time. Next, we have a base of 2 times a height of 0, base of 1 times a height of negative 1, and a base of 5, that's a bit of a jump, times a height of negative 2. Adding all this up, we've got negative 1, 0 doesn't matter, another negative 1, so that's negative 2, plus a negative 10 is negative 12. For this problem, we want to approximate the integral from 0 to 14 of f which is given in this table at least selected values, and we're using LRAM. So that means for each rectangle, we're going to pick the left endpoint for the Y value. Uh, so let's approximately equal this to a base of 1 times a height of negative 3 for my first rectangle. And then we have a base of 6 
times negative 5, because that, again, is the left side of the rectangle, the left y value choice. Next, we've got base of 3 times a height of negative 3. Another base of 3 times a height of negative 1. And then a base of 1 times a height of negative 2. So adding these up now, this is going to be, let's see, negative 3 plus negative 30, so that's negative 33. That becomes negative 42, negative 45, negative 47. For this problem, we're approximating 0 to 10 integral of f, which has some selected values in the table. We're using LRAM, so we can say the integral from 0 to 10 of f of x dx is approximately equal to, we have a base of 1 times a height of 3. We're going to pick 3 instead of 2 because we're doing LRAM, so we're going to pick the left versus the right endpoint for the rectangle. Next, we have a base of 3 times a height of 2, a base of 2 times a height of 1, and finally, a base of 4 times a height of 0. Adding these up, we've got 3 plus 6 plus 2, so that's going to be 11. For number 9, we're given a continuous function defined by a table, and we want to approximate with a left Riemann sum, so LRAM, of 0 to 50, using these subintervals here, basically what we have in the table. Um, so we're going to have three rectangles to do this. So we've got the interval from 0 to 25, that's a base of 25 for the rectangle, times the left height of 4. Next, we've got the interval from 25 to 30, so a base of 5 times our left height of 6. And finally, the last interval is a distance of 20 times the height of 8. And it looks like we have to uh, add these all together because the answer choices are simplified. So this is 100 plus 30 is 130 plus 160 is going to be 290. So choice A. On this problem, we have a function f that's continuous on a closed interval from 2 to 14. And we have some table values for this function using the intervals 2 to 5, 5 to 10, and 10 to 14. So they're really spelling it out for us here. What's an approximation of this integral using a right Riemann sum? So we're using RAM, and they told us exactly which intervals to use. Um, so we can say that this integral is approximately equal to, we have a base of 3 times a height of 28. We're going to use 28, not 12, because this is a right Riemann sum. So if we're using RAM, we have to take the right side of each of these rectangles, the right possible y value. Next, we have a base of 5 times a height of 34, plus base of 4 times a height of 30. And this was a no calculator problem, so you actually did have to do a little bit of arithmetic to get one of these answers. Um, so we're going to multiply these out next. This is going to be, let's see, 20, 3 times 20 is 60, 3 times 8 is 24, so that's 84. This one is going to be, let's see, we've got uh, 5 times 30 is 150, 5 times 4 is 20, so uh, 170 plus 120. I'm going to add the 170 and 120 first. That's going to be 290, and then this will come out to, let's see, 374, gives us answer choice D. On this problem, the function f is continuous on a closed interval from 0 to 6 and has the tables given in this value here. Using the intervals 0 to 2, 2 to 4, and 4 to 6, we want the approximation obtained from a midpoint Riemann sum. So if we're doing midpoints, uh, that means that we are using the x values 1, 3, and 5. Those are the, the midpoint x values, and we want the y values that go with those. So that would be 5, negative 1, and 0. So approximating this, this is going to approximately equal. We have a base of 2 times a height of 5. Again, we're using the middle heights here. And these bases are all going to be 2 based on the intervals that they asked for here. Next, we're using a base of 2 times a height of negative 1 and a base of 2 times a height of 0. So that's going to be 10 minus 2, which is 8, plus 0 is still 8. So that's going to be choice E.